Got another exam question walk through for A-level chemistry. So this is paper three, questions number 41. If you want to check out the other videos in the playlist, I'll put the link to that at the top of the screen now. So this question deals with acids, bases, and buffer calculations. And then there's a big question on the preparation of a standard solution. Hope you like the video, hope you find it helpful. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I'd love you to do so. But as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. Okay, so part A, what's the pH of this sodium hydroxide solution? So sodium hydroxide is a base. So we're going to use the KW expression. KW has a fixed value at 298 Kelvin, uh, 1 times 10 to the minus 14. So what is the KW expression? KW equals H plus concentration multiplied by OH minus concentration. To get the pH, we obviously need the H plus concentration. So we'll rearrange for that. So it's H plus concentration equals KW over OH minus concentration. Right, so what do we know? We know the, the uh, concentration of the sodium hydroxide solution. Um, so sodium hydroxide is a strong alkali, so it fully dissociates in solution. So we get Na plus and OH minus. So if that's 0 0.4, so is that. So we've got all the numbers we need. So 1 times 10 to the minus 14 divided by 0 0.4. Uh, gives a value of 2.5 times 10 to the minus 14. Obviously that's moles per decimeter cubed. So how do we turn that into a pH? We minus log that and the pH comes out at 13.60. Moving on to part B, so what's the pH of this HCl solution after uh, dilution? So first thing we need to say is HCl is a strong acid, so it goes to its ions like this. Next thing we're going to do is work out how many moles of HCl have actually been used in the, um, in the experiment. So moles of HCl is concentration times volume, 0.75 multiplied by 0.01 decimeters cubed, 10 cm cubed is that many decimeters cubed. Um, so that comes out at 7.5 times 10 to the minus 3. We want to know how many moles of H plus ions we've got and, their, and then the concentration of them. So the moles of H plus will be exactly the same. So equals moles of H plus. The concentration of the H plus ions, that's what we need to calculate pH, is the moles divided by the volume. So it's 7.5 times 10 to the minus 3. And the volume that they're in is 100 centimetres cubed. So that's 0 0.1 decimetre cubed. So 7.5 times 10 to the minus 2. Minus log that gives a pH, and they want this one to two decimal places, 1.12. Part C, we've got a solution made up from ethanoic acid, which is a weak acid, and sodium ethanoate, which is the salt of the weak acid. So we've got a buffer solution. So the way I remember the H plus concentration, and I get my students to think about it like this as well, Cassid over salt. So the purpose of that word is just to get the formula the right way around. So the H plus concentration of a buffer is equal to the Ka multiplied by the acid concentration divided by the salt concentration. So Ka 1.75 times 10 to the minus 5. Acid concentration 0.3. Salt concentration 0.1. So that H plus concentration is coming out at 5.25 times 10 to the minus 5. And then we minus log that. And we get a pH to two decimal places, 4.28. Moving on to part D, you've got the classic um, standard solution prep question. So we've got to make this standard solution of copper 2 nitrate, hydrated copper 2 nitrate. Um, it needs to have that concentration and it needs to be that volume. So the first thing we'll do is the calculation. So we're going to need to know the MR of the hydrated salt. 
So that's coming out at 241.5. Next thing we're going to need to know is how many moles of salt we need for the solution. So that's just concentration times that volume. But remember that's got to be in decimeters cubed. The moles of salt's coming out at 0 0.02. And now all we need to do is multiply the moles by the MR to get the mass of salt needed. So that's coming out at 4.83 grams. So the next thing I'm going to do is just describe the procedure, describe the method the student's going to need to follow to make that solution. So the first thing they do is measure out that 4.83 grams of salt into a beaker. Then they'd need to dissolve the salt in a small volume of distilled water. We're not making the full 100 cm cubed yet. We're just making a, a, a small some volume solution of the salt. Next thing you do is transfer that solution into a 100 cm cubed volumetric flask. So that's something like that not a conical flask that's a common mistake there and then to make sure that all of the salt's gone into the volumetric flask they would rinse out the beaker that they made the original solution in and they would add the washings next thing to do is make up the solution till it's close to that graduation mark i've exaggerated the um, graduation mark there with that black felt tip just so you can see it on the video so you'd go up to let's say about a centimeter uh, down from the graduation mark and then for that final cm cubed or so, you would make up to the mark using a dropping pipette. And you want the base of the meniscus to be on the mark. And then the last thing you need to say, and I've done it in red capitals because people often forget to say it, is you need a stopper. So put the stopper in the volumetric flask and invert to mix the solution together. So don't forget to say that. 